amongst this this educational journey, um, you know, there was a lot of good lessons that was learned throughout the process. And, you know, there's a few that, you know, I meditate on daily, you know, and first and foremost, um, don't change yourself, create yourself. You know, and what I mean by that is that, you know, we tend to um, not like situations that make us uncomfortable. And we feel like that, you know, these situations are causing us to change. And, you know, a lot of people don't like change, you know, and especially coming from the foundation that I come from where, you know, it's more of a street mentality and you wanna, you wanna hold on to your roots. You know, you, you don't wanna lose where you come from because, you know, unfortunately people will start to look at you different when you start to change who you are, you know? Um, so that was a struggle for me, but I started to look at it from the perspective of, I'm not changing, I'm just creating myself. I'm creating a different Diamond Weaver, you know? And I do that daily, you know? We always wanna be looking to grow and we, we wanna continue to remain lifelong learners, you know? So um, don't change yourself, create yourself, okay? And then the second one, which also ties into the first one is, although you have to be persistent in your, in your goals and your ambitions, you also have to be adaptable. And what I mean by that is that in order for you to um, continue to move up the ladder, you're going to move into um, different environments that you're not familiar with because you are growing, you know, you're, you're taking the next step up. So it's going to be new, you know, it's going to be different. And you can't expect to take the same mentality and perspective into new opportunities. You have to learn from the opportunity that you were previously at and then take that and then go into the next one open-minded and be able to continue to exercise the things that worked for you at the last opportunity, but also you have to adapt and grow to your new challenges, your new environment, and continue to progress, you know? So although we wanna stay persistent, cause you can persistently fail, you know? You can continue to say, I'm not gonna give up on this dream, I'm not gonna quit, but you can continue to make the same decisions and end up with the same result. The difference is that you have to adapt to what your new challenges and obstacles are and be able to persistently be successful. We really hold on to the mentality of it not being a sprint, it's a marathon. Looking at each practice as a lap, we want to just take our time, um, you know, learn by making mistakes, and then we want to get the film, get those corrected, come out the next day, and try to improve on those corrections and just continue to build on that. This message is for anybody out there who, because of your environment, you might not be able to see your potential. And maybe it's also the people that are you're surrounded by, you know, and you don't have the examples or you don't have the identity of what we talked about later. You don't know who you are, you know. Um, my message to you is to always see beyond your environment, you know. Don't, don't be so small-minded in, in your ambitions and your dreams, you know. And, and, and also always, you know, develop a love for literature, right, reading, is the key, you know? And when I, when I talk to a lot of um, youth these days who don't like to read, they say, you know, I don't like to read. And what I find is that it's the choice of things that they're um, looking to read or what they are being given to read. And, you know, my advice is just, you know, if it's a magazine, if it's an article on, online, you know, whatever it may be, um, Find what you like to read and develop a skill and habit for it because I feel like that's the foundation of everything, you know? Um, being able to, you know, with autobiographies, being able to look into the lives of, of, of people that came before us and see what adversities they face and how they overcame those adversities and those challenges, you know, that's useful information um, along your journey, you know? So anybody out there who right now you know, in your spirit, you know that you want more for yourself, but because of the cards that you've been dealt and the environment that you've been given, you may seem like those dreams might not be possible or, or, or those daily goals, you might not be seeing the, the, the benefits of it. You know, just always look beyond, you know, always look beyond your environment 
you know, think globally, um, don't think locally. This is the message for those people, anybody out there. And that's any walks of life, any ages. Just if you have a dream, you have a goal, uh, make sure that you're finding the resources. Don't allow the resources to come to you. You go out and you seek those resources that you need in order for you to progress and be successful. I stand before you today as someone who beat the odds, um, I broke generational curses in my, in my family, and I broke the cycle, you know. I now stand before you as a, you know, college-educated man and, and, and someone who daily is mentoring, motivating, and inspiring future generations to um, use athletics as a way to develop and grow their academics. And, you know, statistically speaking, you know, from my foundation and my upbringing, you know, majority of the kids that, that face those, those adversities, you know, unfortunately end up doing life in prison or end up no longer living because of the things that they have to face daily, you know? So, you know, I stand before you today as someone who is very humble because of my upbringing and just, you know, just so grateful and thankful for, you know, the position that I stand in today, you know? So for everybody out there, you know, if, if you're in a position right now and you believe that, you know, you have what it takes, you have the potential, then I'm a product of it, you know? I, I believed in myself, I kept a strong faith, I worked hard, and I made the sacrifices. And, you know, that's all it took. I didn't do nothing special. I felt every emotion that you can feel going through this journey. You know, I've been up, I've been down, I've been high, I've been low. You know, I've, 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 I've quit on myself, I've doubted myself, I've regretted some of the decisions that I made, some of the relationships, you know, that I, I, I wasn't able to maintain, different things of that nature. But ultimately, I just kept, kept going and I didn't quit. You know, I stayed persistent and I stayed adaptable to everything that was eventually gonna come my way, you know, so it's possible. You know, just, just trust in yourself and, you know, don't give up. I mean, I know it sounds so simple to say, it's such a cliche thing to say, but at the end of the day, that's the ingredients that it takes.